Here's a creature that looks like a turtle's hand. What is this creature? Let's do the gooseneck barnacle's anatomy. Gooseneck barnacle usually lives in rocks in the intertidal zone. In this area, many creatures live attached to rocks to prevent them from being swept away by waves. Gooseneck barnacle also lives by sticking firmly to the rocks. If you look closely at the cracks in the rocks, the pointy thing over here is the gooseneck barnacle. If you take off the bottom of the rocks, you can get it easily. They usually live in groups. But, if you take one off, you can see that they look very much like turtles' hands. Since these are small, I bought large one for better observation. Gooseneck barnacle have various shapes, from thick to long. I picked one and looked at its shape. The body of the gooseneck barnacle consists of capitulum and a stock covered with several calcareous plates. This part looks like a claw, and this is why it looks like a turtle's hand. What kind of creature is this? Now, let's dissect the gooseneck barnacle. First, cut the stalk, and then peel off the skin. Then you can see the soft flesh inside. It is similar to the flesh of a clam. Gooseneck barnacle was mollusca, like clams, until the 19th century. But now, it's one of the arthropods. The inside of the stalk looks like a mollusca. But the inside of the capitulum is very different from the clams. I removed the calcareous plate from the top of the capitulum. Then you can find a vine-like area inside. This is called thoracic legs. The gooseneck barnacle belong to Thoracica, a infraclis of crustacea. Most Thoracica hunt prey by sticking out their thoracic legs. They eat food using their thoracic legs. There are six pairs of thoracic legs. If you look closely, you can see that it has dense setae. And the gooseneck barnacle's mouth is located just below the legs to make it easier to eat food. While the anus is located on the other side, both food intake and excretion occur through the capitulum. And the most amazing part of their body is located between the six thoracic legs. If you pull this carefully like this, you can take out this long organ. This thing is surprisingly the gooseneck barnacle's genital. They are the creatures that have huge genitals relative to their bodies. Wow. The reason they have long genitals is to extend them to mate with nearby individuals. If you take the genitals off and zoom in, you can see the wrinkled structure. Because of this, their genital is very stretchy. However, despite the genital, this gooseneck barnacle is not a male. They are hermaphroditic. A testis is inside the capitulum, an ovary is in the stalk. For genetic diversity, autogamy doesn't happen very often. Instead, they mate with other individuals around them. Their larvae swim freely and are attached to the right place and live their whole lives. Gooseneck barnacle are very interesting creatures. This is the end of gooseneck barnacle's anatomy. Gooseneck barnacles are considered a valuable ingredient in Europe and Asia. How does this taste? First, wash it clean. And put them in water and boil them for 7 minutes. And peel off the skin of the stock part. You can eat this flesh here. I've tried it. It tastes like a mixture of crab, squid and shellfish. It was better than I thought, so I gave it to Sebastian. He's not interested. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.